Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call aloud, Yim Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukah Kadash. Devil honors the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim out there, spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, sincerity and truth, and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scripture teach us to do. Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. And I do mean very few. I'm the brother Yaramaya from the great millstone, Chicago camp, basically coming to you with a lesson, you know, going into the memorial or the blowing of the trumpets, because this is the holy day that we do recognize and reverence, you know, to the best of our ability, whether you, you know, getting out with the brothers, uh, you know, blowing the ram's horn, sipping some wine, meditating on the Lord, you know, you know, we are in captivity, so some brothers, you know, may have had to work, but the scriptures pursuing the judges 5 and 11 lets us know we're rehearsing the righteous acts, but we all should really be in the spirit of blowing the trumpet, and that's all the time. So I'm going to just, and, and, and when you blow the trumpet, he lets you know in Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, of why you a watchman. He lets you know that in the third chapter of Ezekiel. We warn the people. We ushering in the kingdom of heaven. You know, so I'm going to just get a couple of scriptures, you know, that I was meditating upon uh, for this great and holy day, which is our culture as Hebrew Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the real Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. And those of you that may look like the other nations through our seeds scattered abroad, through their father's lineage, which the scriptures refer to as a speckled bird. You know, we have Hebrew Israelites that look like men from every other nation. But if you are a Hebrew Israelite, you know, this is our culture and this is our customs and this is what we, we do. You know, but it's a meaningful reason behind all these things that we do. All right. This is um, Leviticus 23. In verse 23, it says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, saying, Speaking to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, the memorial of the blowing of the trumpets. As Salaki, and holy convocation, ye shall do no so vile work therein, but ye shall but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. All right, and that's what we're doing as watchmen. All right, and, and we rebuking as well and letting them know that this is a time of war. Our Lord is coming. Esau is coming down with a sword with great wrath. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. You know, this ain't the folly trumpet. This ain't the musician's trumpet. You know, you, you got a different sound for everything. This is the time of ushering in the kingdom of the Lord. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick one. This is 1 Corinthians 14, when he going to the tongues, he used an analogy, but he compared it to a trumpet, you know, but um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and, four, uh, and 8, he said, for if a, the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So we coming with a certain sound. We coming with the sound of our Lord coming back to destroy this place, man. This is Ezekiel 33 and 1. It says, again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speaking to the children of thy people, and saying to them, When I will bring a sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. And that's what the Lord did. He said, Surely he doeth nothing unless he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. If when a man, a Habakkuk, said, I will stand upon my watch. If when ye see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned and the sword come, and it, and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity and his blood. I will require at the watchman's hand. So we know this truth, and we're supposed to be preaching it to our people. We know that the Lord is coming back. They don't. But the scriptures say he who saves the sinners uh, from the air of his ways will save his soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. And that's true love, and love covers a multitude of sins. We have to blow the trumpet and warn these people. This is Isaiah 61 and verse 1. It said, The Spirit of Yahweh is upon me, because Yahweh have anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the mink. He have set me to bind up the broken heart, hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them 
that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of our power uh, and the day of vengeance so like, yeah, and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all who mourn. So we, 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 we blowing the trumpet, letting them know your how about shimmy how is coming. The scriptures say, whatever thou do, do us with all thy might, man. So blow the trumpet in the spirit of our forefathers and preach these videos and preach this word like the other apostle Gabar said. Every time we go out here and preach this word, this society decays, man. And that's true, and I believe it, know it, and feel it, man. Through the spirit and power, yeah, how about Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man? Apostle was spot on with that. So you brothers, hey, blow the trumpet, man. And, and remember the Lord's people. Remember Zion. And remember that you want mercy, too. And this is how we're going to get it. Call Allah, Yim, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rukah, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, those honors the truth, to the hopes of the elect, Shalom, and blow the trumpet.